Hey, hello everyone, Palliative here. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Welcome back to Michael Danger Magazine's playthrough. In between episodes, I installed a few mods. One of them skips the Alohomora minigame. I figured since I unlocked level three, just let me open locks like a wizard, please. Uh, I installed another that did some reshading changes, one that just changed our reticle from a circle to a dot. But the one I am most excited about is the one that you guys actually recommended the most down in the comments. It allows me to control our broom flight with my mouse, making me much more precise and much more accurate as we are flying through challenges just like this one. Now, if I like these mods, I was planning on making a dedicated like video to showing them off, but I just wanted to plant that seed that we are changing up our game files just a little bit to customize our experience. I don't like the looks of that encampment. Whoa. This looks like a gigantic poacher encampment. Whoa. Today, we're gonna be focusing on finishing up a few of my classes. For instance, Madame Kagawa wanted me to do this flying training. And as you can see, it's going just fine. Everything's going really well. She's going to teach us a new spell if we do that. And we also have a herbology class to attend today. But after we are done with our studies, we have a main quest in Hogsmeade that I would like to advance. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And let's go see what we can learn. Look at this view. I feel like I say this every episode, but I just can't get over it. Because it's fall, we're seeing more of the class decorated with jack-o'-lanterns and autumn themes. I'm such a big fan, dude. It looks so good. I do think we are going to hit winter eventually if we keep progressing the main story. I wish I could keep it like this, though. This is definitely my favorite time of the year. Even the beast area looks fantastic. <clears throat> Madam Kagawa, as you can see, I've mastered flying. Is there any more difficult tasks you can give me? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say, <laughs> and you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Is that what it was designed for? Very interesting. The rest of momentum nice. should stop any movement of a thing that's in motion. Uh, let's go ahead and try to do this spell. I don't do very well with the jaggedy ones. The red line is catching up to me pretty fast. I think it's the corners I struggle with. I should just ram into them like a racing game. Oh, that's it? You don't want me to practice or anything? Rest of momentum slows the motion of enemies and objects. The larger the target, the less effect this spell will have on it. And they're giving us some examples of freezing a goblin or stopping a boulder from rolling very well. It is a yellow spell, so adding it to a bar that we don't have any yellow spells might be a good idea. And... I did just recently make room for it. Oh, that was Glacius. Excuse me. Sorry, book. That's it. Keep it up. Wow, it's totally frozen. That's actually pretty good. I wonder if we can get... <laughs> Sorry, book, I froze you so... Here, I'll leave you on the ground frozen. He's like, oh, I'm proud of you. Hey, they're flying the kites in the main courtyard today. Beautiful. You guys always pick the rainy days to do this on, though. <laughs> I guess that kind of does make sense. That is probably when the wind would be the strongest. Oh, my God! What's wrong? Are you okay? Lumos, I'll get them for this. Okay, I, I don't think I can dispel this. Wait a minute, maybe I can? Okay, this is my disappearing thing. Oh, it won't even let me it won't even let me cast Evanesco outside of the room of requirement. I'm sorry, buddy. I, I tried to help. I want you guys to be proud of me. This is how well I know my way around the school now. As you know, I've been walking everywhere that I could. Because I have a pretty good idea of Hogwarts in my mind, but it turns out that it was not accurate at all. However, over this way is the Hufflepuff Common Rooms, and that is the Herbology area, where we just so happen to need to attend class 
today. Now, I don't know where the door is, but that's the building. Lumos. As you guys know, I've been intentionally exploring the school, trying to make my way around, get lost, find new things. And I feel like the minimap in this game is kind of intrusive to that. Let me explain. There was a game when I was young called Fable. One of my favorite games of all time. I absolutely loved Fable. It was developed by this guy named Peter Molyneux, who was, uh, what's the nicest way of saying this? Uh, sometimes he exaggerated the depth that his games had, <laughs> but, but Fable was really, really good. Like really, really good. One of the problems that Molyneux had with Fable though, was he realized pretty early on uh, into the development of the sequel that you could play the entirety of the first game with just your minimap. Just literally looking at the minimap, not staring at where your character is going at all, not looking at the world at all, just completely engrossed in the corner of the screen. And the way they alleviated that in the second game is they removed the minimap. They made the world significantly more immersive by, whoop, Hello. I'll pick this up. I promise I won't forget. <laughs> Wait, was that it? Was that my class? How wonderful to see you again. <laughs> Great to see you again too, Professor Garlic. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso. Yes, ma'am. So you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Ungardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. Wingardium Leviosa. If you know what that reference is, uh, you're a keeper. <laughs> okay, to the top of the... Right. So how is this different from the levitate that we already have? Oh, she's just uh, back back to work. Okay. The levitation charm of Guardian Leviosa can teleport and move objects. Controlled position and movement... What the? F what are these keys? And use F, V, Q, E to fine tune its distance and rotation. So it's just a more guided form of levitation. It looks like it's more for moving objects rather than moving people, well potentially. Well done. Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Uh, actually, there's some in this room, ma'am. Did you not want me to move these? Because, I, I mean, I'm gonna. So the way they solved the minimap problem in Fable 2 was Q, E, F, V. Okay, I mean, I guess that does kind of make sense. They gave you a dog. They gave you a companion. Something to be immersed in the world with that led you places. Uh, I mean, essentially, it guided you to everything you needed to do, just like your minimap did, but it did it in a way that kept you looking at the world around you. And I actually think that this game could use something like that, especially when you're exploring Hogwarts like this, because it's very easy to just look down at the bottom left to figure out where I'm going in every direction without looking up at all. By the way, this is our new Aloha Mora. It just does a quick blip and then we open the door. Now, I will admit that I like that because it saves me editing time. But I also feel like, especially after we have, you know, the level three upgrade, that that thing should be automatic. That's that's just my opinion. So this game does have a system similar to that where you can tap V and it's sent. Wow, it is insanely bright coming out of that window but you tap v and it gives you kind of a guided path towards your quest location i wish this just kind of happened by default i think this is one of the most immersive parts and i wish there was less of an emphasis on the mini map and more of an emphasis on this because it actually gets you out and 
looking around. Since the very first episode of Hogwarts, I've wanted to put these ideas out there that this game could actually learn a lot from the Fable series. Now, I will say that you can turn the minimap off and use this exclusively, but that's a decision that I think very, very, very few people would make. All right, we're in Hogsmeade and we're about to stop in the three broomsticks. The barkeep has a quest for us and it's actually our main story Hello, quest. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you actually working behind the bar. Can I please get a butterbeer? By the way, butterbeers are non-alcoholic to humans, but they do mess up house elves. So make sure you, they, 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 don't, they don't get their hands on those. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. Mm, Michael looks kind of suspicious, doesn't he? How can you trust a goblin? No, I'm glad to hear it. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly. That's nice. Which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. Roger that. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to run over and talk to him. I know right where the hog's head is. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. Will do. Woo! Can I buy you guys some lights in here? You don't have... I mean, you have literally like 12 candles back there, but nothing else. Can I help you with something? Can you help me with something? Well, I hope so. May I? Maybe I shouldn't say it with you. Let me introduce myself. Hello, Lord Gok. Oh, I sat right down. Okay. Serona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No. Actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. Right. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Well, um, Serona trusts me. I mean, she hasn't given me a butterbeer yet. I don't know what's up with that, but... Serona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ooh. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Do, do you really felt like there was a chasm? Well, I'll go retrieve the relic, my dude. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Okay. Uh, I'm sure it's not too far away. I'll meet you there in no time. Man, you got it here fast. I'm How'd ready. you beat me? I wish I could apparate. Can you apparate? No time to lose. No time to lose? Heard. Where are we going? What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. 
The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. So if if the maker of the object is the one that owns it, isn't it? Can't you just pass ownership? Like if if I'm a blacksmith and I give someone a sword, that's passing ownership over, right? Revelio. Uh, something dangerous is close. Looks like a pack of wolves down there. He did a good job of dodging those. Unless we're walking directly into him. But it doesn't look like it. Good survival instincts. Hey, little wolf. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. Stay over there, little buddy. Stay over there. Me and my goblin friend are just walking by, okay? <laughs> no. Don't you even think about it. <laughs> you stay right there. You stay with your mushrooms. That's what I thought. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? Lumos. There's a flu flame here. Maybe we'll be coming back here. Well, I can't make any sense of that. Uh, is there anything you could tell me about this place? I don't... I mean, maybe you just open it by light... Oh, okay, just open, I okay. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. I hope so. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Um, a few, but I'm just going to keep it to myself. It clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Well, this place seems pretty spacious. Lumos. This is a main story quest, so it should be pretty interesting based off what we've seen so far. It's sealed. Is sealed, so it's missing a butterfly. Let me drop that one off. It's probably, yes, right over here. Is this uh, how I was supposed to learn about the paintings inside the castle? All right, trial number one done. Uh, one thing I did not do was empty my inventory before we came in here. I hope I don't regret that decision too much. So, a butterfly charm to open the first door. Rats made it through here, no problem. So, we're probably not going to be alone. If they hung out here, they probably have food nearby. Uh, we did level up. I'm going to go ahead and with our talents. This is one of our core talents. We can make Revelio better. It just increases its range. It's a level 16 thing. I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. Uh, we'll probably get our Protego Mastery next level. Uh, I actually don't know what the max level is, so eventually we're going to run out of talent points. I don't know how close to that we are. Lumos. Silver Scarf looks like an upgrade. Few different paths leaving here. Although, kind of seems like it's going forward. Is this a dead end? Revelio. Dead end with some coin to collect. It looks like this place is pretty massive. Revelio is showing me a lot through the walls. Perhaps another locked door resides ahead. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Well, the easiest way to do that is going to be to bring these butterflies to the door again. This seems pretty on par with what we did before. It looks like I can only transfer one at a time. That's fine. I'm coming back for you now. And we'll put you there. Now, what do we do about you? I'm going to try a... Depulso. Depulso! That knocked the door right Lumos. open. And you could come with me. Ooh. Uh, what? I can't remember what I use Horklump juice for. It's definitely one of the potions I craft on a regular basis. I just can't place it. Well, the second of the doors are opened. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Well, you did see rats earlier. Uh, what is that being chiseled into the wall? 
mean, I wonder? Oh, God, zombies? <laughs> okay, I did fight zombies in a graveyard earlier, so I do know something that the game would teach us right now. In order to deal damage to them, they have to have their flesh burning. So, our fire spells that send multiple attacks around the room because of our talents are actually super valuable here. And we cleared that out like a champ. That was nothing. No. Oh, okay. There's more. There's more. There's more. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a Revelio. Stupefy that. Get him close. Incendio. Okay, that's pretty good damage, actually. We're actually hitting pretty hard. Looks like a few things to collect over in this corner that Revelio showed me. A couple knickknacks. Now, I haven't seen any signs of a helmet so far. But we also don't know how big of a place this is. I wonder if that area was supposed to make the average dungeon diver think that that was the tomb so they wouldn't proceed any further. It looks like we have another butterfly. There's one on the door. You come to me. And go here. Lumos. Now, do I need to get up there or something? What is this exactly? Oh, one of the butterflies from the door came here. Um, I definitely see you up there. Oh, maybe I can move the floor. Uh, we can do a... No. Not so lucky. Mm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. <gasps> oh, Michael! Instead of putting them on the door, we put them here. Oh, it looks like maybe I only needed to do one. Maybe that butterfly took both sides. Or maybe I... Yeah, that's kind of weird, right? Uh, so, if it could be rotated... Depulsa. Nice. I like that a lot, actually. Then I could just hop up here, grab this butterfly, bring it down with me, place that right in the door, and then bring this one back over. There we go. To deposit as well. That was a fun puzzle. I do feel like the puzzles in this game, especially the ones that we did in the last dungeon we entered, where it was super mind bendy like changing reality based on perspective through portals. I loved those. But puzzles like this I've been What's solving. Oh, no. Looks precarious. I've been solving all over the castle as well. The way. There is a mod to turn off your it's character's the other help dialogue. Like that right there. I'm kind of torn on it because I do feel like in the previous room, Michael was super helpful with understanding that we needed to rotate that thing. But on the other hand, when I just entered this room, he kind of immediately solved that puzzle for me. Lumos. Uh, not that it was that difficult to solve. I'm sure I would have noticed that thing lit up pretty quickly, but you know what I mean? I feel like there's a time and a place. Big chest here, let's collect it. And then we can use Wingardium Leviosa to move that right over there. And climb up this side, too. Looks like yet another chest located here. Uh, a cabinet collection. I wonder if that's for our room of requirement. Very cool. Well, no way for me to progress forward here, so whoop. Oh. <laughs> that was actually... That was actually a good jump. He he tucked in. He held... He kept everything nice and tight. Uh... Does this just wrap around? Is this just a little side path? No, I'm gaining elevation. This must be a way to get back up top. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, I can't do that, huh? Accio. Accio? Yes, that's the secret way. Jump again. Come on, Michael. Yo. <laughs> it looks like we need to go this way. What spell would I cast to immediately make my clothes dry? 
feel like I'd be using Lose. that spell quite a lot in here. One butterfly off to the right. We see... Ooh, many enemies in the middle, actually. I'll come back for you, butterfly. Don't mind me. Uh, I tried to use ancient magic there. That's why I didn't block. Ooh, and that time I didn't block because I didn't see it was red. Actually, a lot of these guys here. Let me get in the middle. Incendio. And then we'll start... Take it out the trash! Oh, tried to block again. Hey, that was so much fire damage. We actually cleared out the majority of the room with just a couple casts there. My health is starting to get low. We're going to need to make more potions soon. It looks like this is going to be something that I have to rotate. Potentially, this is something that I have to rotate as well. Okay, how many zombies Incendium. are you going to send at me? You in the middle? Too close, too close, too close. Oh, God. I need to stop blocking when it's clearly just a dodge. Okay. Let me get some space on this guy. We can confringo across the room. Nice, safe spell. I do really like that I got the AoE on, on Incendio, though. Oh, God, because I didn't even know that guy was here. And it's still an effective way of dealing damage. Incendio. Good, 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 good. Can we stop the combo? I didn't have to dodge. All right. There is also an upgrade that makes it so our healing potions heal for more. I didn't think that would be super important or anything. But at the end of the day, that is saving me herbology time and, and uh, potion crafting time. So it's probably something that's pretty valuable. So if I put this here... And then, uh, cannot Accio it. I'm going to have to push it. Does that raise this? And what is the point of, oh, that side. Okay. Try again. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And, oh, I'm going to have to stand on that when we raise it. So why is that? Okay, here's my guess. We're going to have to put a butterfly on this. Will you stay here? Thank you. Okay, this will work great. We stand on this platform. Push it away. Hit up tap. Why aren't you climbing? Michael. Looks like we're going to have to push this a few times. There we go. Now we got it. And then I can move here, Lumos. take this light, put it on the door, take that light. Uh, we might have to depulso a few more times. So not just plant my feet right here and depulso. send me up. Descendo. If depulso. I keep hitting this and then Lumos. Lumos here, I can't even get that butterfly back. So I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. No! Uh -huh. Okay, okay. This looks You're with even me. more complex. You're with me, right? You're with me. Good, 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 good. There we go. Place you there. Now, how do I get you back up here? Hmm. Oh! There's a... A fourth butterfly. Bro, that was 100% an accident. I didn't spot that once. Okay. Lumos. Okay. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Can we... Light up this room a little bit? Incendio. Before we do that, mm, doesn't look like it's gonna let me. And dead Ashwinder. Oh no! The Patriots must have made off with the helmet. They Lodgok took like this. the treasure. Better show this to Lodgok. Oh, Lodgok is not gonna be I know happy. There's a mechanism to open this door. You just light the torch and then you're gone. So we were not the first to solve this tomb's puzzles. Hey, I want to be very clear. Nope, wasn't trying to attack you. 
I did not steal that helmet and keep it from you. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. Ingratiate? I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I can handle that. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. Okay. How far away is it from here? Thieves have their hands on such a relic. It's not even far. I'll be right back. You won't even notice I'm gone. Oh, look at that tight hug. Hug over the mountain there. Thank you, Mons. Thank you for making flying better. Well, it looks like we're already close. This place is in the Forbidden Forest, right? Oh, and they have troll problems over there as well. Let's get in for a closer look. We might be able to just let this troll do its job, to be honest. They don't know I'm here yet. Could I just take the helmet and go? Okay, no one sees me yet. No one sees me yet. Do you think it's in here? Uh, no, but that was a very nice upgrade made a grave mistake so it does look like the troll is winning you're going to regret that oh but more reinforcements might be coming in you know that teleport wasn't for here huh hold on we can watch a little bit more oh knocked into the fire and the troll doesn't know i'm here though those were reinforcements i wonder if what we're after is actually over in these camps over here, this campsite over here. Um, uh, sneaking by is going to be pretty hard if they're all on the bridge. But they don't see me yet! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, the troll might. Troll, no, we're good. We're good. Line of sight with the tree. We're doing great. Nice job, troll! No, oh, no, 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 no. Don't look over here. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, well, thanks for taking out all those bad men. Revelio. Um, I don't see any reason that you and I need to quarrel here at all. Excuse me. Is it in here? It's got to be in one of these chests. Oh, God. Stupid. Do not throw things at me. That's it. This is for Rookwood. More assassins coming to stop me. Well. <laughs> Can I just whoop? To face me. wall invisible? That was the smoothest thing I've ever done. Ah! I got the helmet back. No problem. They didn't even know I left. They probably think I'm still in the campsite. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. Hey, but do back lickety split. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. Yeah, it is stunning. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. I am too. I think we, we all learned soon. a lot here. Best to keep our arrangement quiet. Lumos. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Roger that, my dude. The helm of Urtkak. That's, why is that so hard to say? Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, everybody. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Michael Danger Magus will be back very soon with the continuation Hello, friend. of his legacy. I wonder legacy. if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I'd like your help with something. Hmm, maybe that's where we shall go As next. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon. 
So oh, no, we're definitely doing that next. Sebastian, I'm on the way right now. Hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites.